Perfect Your Spiritual Broadcast 2019. This is day 19, day 19. Spiritual things by nature are very slippery and you could find yourself meditating by force of habit instead of revelation. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 1 says, Therefore we ought to give more earnest heed, more attention to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. We are going to backtrack a bit today to make sure that we are still aimed for the perfection of our spiritual broadcast in Christ, to make our faith productive. We started out saying that physical muscles could be developed when you stick to the discipline of exercises. A scrawny brat could develop a barrel chest with biceps and triceps to match, just by physical exercises. In the same way, the intellect can be developed greatly when you stick to a regimen of scholastic exercises. So also, the spirit man too can be developed and put to great use and profit when you permit your spiritual man to be subjected to a regimen of spiritual exercises over a period of time. Going back to our notes, we recall the scripture that says that the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord, Proverbs 20, verse 27. This means that God reckons with our spirit man or inner man as others would describe it. God lights up the spirit man with revelation to expel everything that darkness can use to set us back. We will get to the point where God communicates directly with our spirit such that we hear divine directions and instructions through the inner man. Imagine what life would be if you could hear God clearly on the matters of life. God is a spirit and he communicates with us through our spirits directly, not through the intellectual mind. This is the error that many make in thinking that God will speak to them physically or, you know, into their ears. When our inner man is well matured and developed, it will seem as if God is speaking audibly when he talks to us because of the clarity with which the inner man picks divine communication. Let us note, however, that an athlete cannot develop muscles overnight after four sessions of exercises, but becomes a champion by sticking to the regimen over a stretch of time. This is how the spirit man is built up. So let us pray for the patience to stay obedient and submitted until Christ is fully formed in our spirits. The prayer meditation of today is taken from Galatians chapter 4 verse 19. My little children, of whom I travel in birth again until Christ be formed in you. So, let us pray in the spirit, let us pray in the understanding, and let's keep the meditation going. God bless you.